hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go oh my god hey it's the empire Geo Boxing Empire, Backstreet Boxing, man, big news, big news, man. I want to hop into it, man. The biggest news in boxing today. The biggest news ever. Canelo Alvarez test positive for a banned substance. My God, finally they caught him. He's been ducking UWBC for years, for years, not wanting to fight for the boats because of the Nevada testing, and they finally caught him for performance enhancing drugs. Now, in my opinion, man, I knew he was on something because. It didn't make any sense. Canelo Alvarez went to not be able to go 12 rounds to all of a sudden throwing a million punches around and, and, and not gassing out. You know, the Canelo is not known for stamina at all. You know, he's never been a volume puncher. And recently I've seen him just too active, too, too, too active in the ring, throwing too many punches and, and even taking punches better. You know, I remember when he almost got knocked out by Miguel Cotto's brother. And now all of a sudden he can take punches from, you know, middleweight champions who've been reigning for years. Ridiculous stuff, man. Ridiculous stuff. Now, apparently, uh, this is, uh, he got tested positive for steroids now or, or for PEDs. And they say it was contaminated cow meat, right? That's Canelo Alvarez's excuse, right? Right? <laughs> I'll link it in the description so you guys can watch it yourself. It says, Canelo Alvarez has admitted he tested positive, positive for performing enhancing drug. But he's blaming the dirty test on contaminated cow meat, right? Now, it was crazy. The boxer was tested in advance in the, of his upcoming May 5th rematch against Gennady Golovkin. And um, the, the result says he showed trace levels of clenbuterol, right? Clenbuterol is a banned substance often used by athletes to cut body fat while retaining muscle mass. It's banned in every ma major doping agency. But Canelo says he's not a cheater, just a eater, right? Because he ate cow meat. Right. And he says it, it was Mexican cow meat. That's why it, it was in his system. Right. Now, he believes the traces of this can be all a consistent with meat contamination that has impacted dozens of athletes in Mexico over the past couple of years. Right. So <laughs> Canel says he would immediately move his training camp from Mexico to the United States and he will submit any number of variety additional tests that voluntary anti doping associates deemed as necessary ahead of the fight. So this is crazy, man. Apparently, he he's gonna he's getting out of Mexico and he's gonna train in America to and to um, you know he's saying the the meat in Mexico is just bad. I gotta come to America and take the test, whatever. Um, we'll we'll see if the fight continues, man. But if I were gonna get out of Glovkin, man, I make him wait till September. You know what I mean? Um, usually that stuff takes a while to get out of your body anyway, right? And, and plus he's been he's been training too hard. You know, I I, I wait to no, November. Good night, Glovkin. Should probably try to fight Billy Joe Sanders. I think that's the best thing for him. But this is crazy stuff, man. I, I'm pre I'm pretty um, I'm not shocked. To tell you the truth, I'm not shocked. Right now, I'm gonna get in two more quotes from Canelo. I'm gonna read what he says, man, and uh, and then I'm gonna get my my opinion on it. Right, he says I'm an athlete who respects the sport, and it surprises me and bothers me because it never happens to me. Canelo says I was submit all the tests required to to clarify this embarrassing situation, and I trust that at the end, that at the end. The truth will prevail. Canelo's team notes that he's been clean dozens of times in his previous tough fights. Yeah, you've been clean because you haven't been getting tested by WBC. You know what I mean? Canelo has not been getting tested by WBC, man. And, um, you know, finally, he finally got tested for WBC. He said he'll fight for that belt. As soon as he said he fight for the belt, that happened like two weeks ago. Yeah, I'll fight Triple G. I'll, fight for, I'll get Triple G's belt. As soon as he said that, he tested positive for something. It's not a coincidence. Vida got stepped, stepped in and started testing him. That's why. You know, Canelo Alvarez is a hype job, and I'm glad he's getting. I, I, people should denote everything he accomplished because everything has an asterisk around it. How long has he been? How long has he been on the substance? You know, Canelo Alvarez has been fighting in a false weight class at 155 for years. I'm not sure, you know, how long he was getting tested by Vada because he was fighting in a make believe weight class. Because he 155 has no real belt, you know. And if it wasn't, if it was a belt, it was a made up belt. So I'm not too sure the test or strenuous is. Uh, actual a belt that has actual division has been around for decades, like a 154 division or 160 division, right? Middleweight division or junior middleweight division. Those are, those are actual weight classes. You know, they call 155 division the Canelo weight for a reason, you know, because he made that up because he didn't really want to fight the best people and he wanted to cherry pick his opponents and not have mandatories. You know, now he's in a real division and he's actually fighting for a real belt that's not a made up belt. And and he has to follow the regulations and the rules rules and regulation everyone else does, right? Now he's being 
you know, caught positive for steroids. This is a big deal, man. Mex you know, Canelo Alvarez is the biggest star in Mexico. He's the biggest, you know, Hispanic champion out there. He's the, he's the biggest name out there. So this isn't some small thing. This is huge. This is it. I mean, you know, who who's going to replace Canelo in Mexico, in Latin America? You know, that's, that's a big name. That's well known that, uh you know, around his weight class. The only, thing, only person I can think of is probably like a, in my opinion, who proved himself is probably like a Mikey Garcia. I think everyone needs to get behind Mikey Garcia now. He's been doing it the right way. You know, um, he he's a clean fighter, and and he deserves more respect than Canelo Alvarez, in my opinion. Um, th this is a huge fatal shot from Canelo Alvarez. Uh, his career, I'm not sure where it goes from here. You know, in my opinion, you know he's gonna get a lot of backlash from this man. You know, you can't blame it on contaminated cow meat. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I mean? That, that, that excuse has been used too many times. If you know that. You know, uh, other fighters are testing positive because of this meat they're eating. Why would you eat the same thing? You know, I heard people use this excuse before, but why would you continue doing it over and over again? You know, um, it's not hard to buy meat from, uh, you know, usually when you buy meat anyway, there's different products of meat anyway. They're all not made in the same area. You know, a lot of things are imported. A lot of things we buy, at least in America, are made in different countries anyway. So why would you buy straight cow meat straight from Mexico? Why would you do that knowing it's contaminated with certain you know, illegal bit substances. So, man, you know, Canelo Alvarez, man, exposed. You know, hype job exposed. Hype job exposed. You know what I mean? I hope this guy, I hope he gets out of boxing. You know, I really don't like Canelo Alvarez. Thought he was a good fighter, but this this blows everything. It blows everything out of proportion. You know, this guy, he, he needs to get out of boxing. Uh, he's been fighting in between weight classes for too long. Fight Triple G. You know, who knows? He could he could have been he could have been uh, on that stuff last fight. You know, he wasn't tested by Vada. You know, so they said there was some kind of testing going on, but wasn't fighter testing. I can tell you that right now. So Canelo Alvarez, you know, he needs to get out of boxing, man. I'm tired of this guy. He's a hype job. He, he's a bum. You know what I mean? I'm tired of this guy. I'm not sure how much of his actual compliments were him or the drug he was taking. You know, you know, you know, his chin. Watch. Who knows if this guy's going to be good after this fight? You know, I remember when Margarito cheated for his plastic gloves and he got destroyed by Shane Mosley. Canelo can be next. We know he's on something now. He's every time someone fights him, he's gonna have to get tested. You know, Canelo Alvarez without drugs is only a six round fighter. He can't go past that, man. The guy, even when he's on that drug, can barely, you know, he he'll throw a lot of punches and he'll gas out. How can he be on something throwing punches and gassing out? Ridiculous stuff, man. You know, Canelo Alvarez, he, man, you know, he, if we know he's on something this fight, right? How do we know he wasn't on that before? And how 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 much of that performance was him or, or the drug itself? We're gonna see how Canelo takes this, and hopefully, like I said, Triple G fights Billy Joe Saunders next or somebody else that's not Canelo, and Canelo has to wait till September. And I hope no one takes that fight for Canelo. You know, I don't want to see anyone get hurt in the ring, you know, and pull Pavekin and and fail a drug test and then have some late replacement last minute and then get a knockout. You know what I mean? I hope that don't happen. Canelo Alvarez needs to be ashamed of himself. He, you know, boxing is a dangerous sport. You're putting people's health on the line because you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in you. Canelo don't believe in himself. So, man, that's how I feel about it, man. I don't want to go too hard on a guy, but you, you tested positive for banned substance, and then you try to blame on cow meat. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let me know how you guys feel about it, man. You know, I, I'm sort of really upset. You know, I'm glad Canelo was exposed for this because I couldn't say anything earlier. It was always been in my back of my mind. Sorry I went off on this, on this a little bit. But, you know, it's always been my mind he's always been on, on something. I thought it was fishy years ago how he's been making up weight classes and didn't all of a sudden didn't did, like the WBC. Because the WBC is the one who, they're the first organization to really start this body testing, you know, because of Floyd Mayweather. He's the one who's, who, who really, Floyd Mayweather is the one who got Pacquiao taking a test in the first place. And, he, and then he made the whole sport clean, you know. Um, ever since then, you know, Canel Ares has been iffy about the, the WBC. You know, I, you know, I always thought that was really weird, man. So I'm really excited this happened, man. You know, hopefully he, Canelo gets knocked out his next fight, clean. You know what I mean? If he if he fights, if he fights a middleweight and not a welterweight, <laughs> we don't know. We'll see. Let 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 me know how you guys feel about it. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire, Geo Empire. Peace. Geo Empire. Peace.